Welcome to Modeling the Rover Part 4. In this video I will be switching views and render modes frequently. I have included several iterations of the file used in this video to make it easier to follow along. These files can be downloaded by following the URL found in this video's description. It looks like I forgot to add one detail to the blue hub. We will need to finish that off before moving on to the mount. Open the blocks palette, select hub, then click the edit content button on the top of the blocks palette. On the hub top work plane, draw a circle with a two inch radius snapping to the center of extents of the part to begin. Next, choose the imprint tool. Choose the subtract option in the local menu or inspector bar and change the bottom radius to 0.5. With the facet closest to the camera selected, choose the circle for imprint. Drag the cursor beyond the part, then click to finish. Next, hit the check mark in the blocks palette to return to the drawing. Now switch to the wheel center work plane and draw another circle four inches in diameter at the center of the part. Now choose the simple extrude tool, change the color to coral, and turn on double-sided extrude. Now extrude the center circle to seven inches. Next, extrude the circle in the center hole of the top spoke to seven inches as well. Now select the smaller cylinder, then using radial copy, snap to the center of the part and create eight copies at a 45 degree angle. Now switch to back view. Next, choose circular slot by defining its center radius. Snap to the part's center to start, then snap to the center of one of the rods to define the circumference. Define the angles by snapping again to the center of the rod, then all the way around again using center snap to define the angle. Then tab into the inspector bar, enter a width value of one, then hit enter. Now perform the same operation, but enter a value of 1.25 for the width. Next, choose the simple extrude tool. Then select the outer slot profile and create a double-sided extrude, entering a height of 0.2. Perform a double-sided extrude on the inner profile of a greater height, then subtract the inner extrude from the outer extrude. Switching our camera back to front, select the part we just created. Now tab into the delta Y field, enter a value of negative 5.35 and hit enter. With the part still selected, choose the make copy option in the local menu or inspector bar. Enter a value of negative 0.55 in the delta Y field and a value of 180 in the rot Y field, then hit enter. Before doing anything else, turn off the Make Copy option of the Select tool. Now choose Work Plane by Facet and select the top of the center cylinder as the work plane. Save this work plane as Cap. Next, draw a 10 inch circle snapping to the center of the part to define its center. Now choose the Simple Extrude tool and extrude the circle by 0.25. Next, choose the Circle tool. Then snapping to the center of one of the rods, draw a circle with a quarter inch radius. Now choose the simple extrude tool. Change color to dark orchid and turn on double sided. Select the circle and extrude by 16 inches. Next, create eight copies of the cylinder we just created using radial copy. Now choose select by color from the edit menu and choose dark orchid. Then select VB multi add from the SDK menu. Now select the subtract tool. Select Don't Remove Subterrain, then select the cap as the menu end, and the purple cylinder as a subterrain. Now rotate the camera to the back of the wheel, select the dark orchid cylinders, and explode them once. Next, use the subtract tool with Don't Remove Subterrain turned off to subtract the dark orchid cylinders from the orange cylinder they are concentric to. Now back to the front of our assembly. Using work plane by facet, create a new work plane on the top of the cap and name it cap top. Now choose the polygon tool and set sides to six. Snapping to the center of one of the holes in the cap, draw a hexagon with a radius of one half inch. Next, select the circle tool. Snap to the center of the hexagon and enter a value of 0.3. 
Now extrude the circle by negative 1.5, then extrude the hexagon by 0.2. Next, add the two 3D entities together using Boolean Add. Now select the part we just created. Tab into the inspector bar and enter negative 5 in the delta Y field. Next, choose the thread tool and select the genuine thread option. Then select the bottom of the cylinder and then the body of the cylinder. Leave the pitch at 0.2 and enter a length of 1. Now select the part and enter a value of 5 in the delta Y field to put it back in place. Next, select the bolt and create 8 copies using the radial copy tool. Now subtract the bolts from the rods that extend out of the cap, being sure that don't remove subterrain is checked. Next, we will make copies of the cap, bolts, and hub using the mirror copy tool. Switch to the top view, then switch to the world work plane. Using the select tool, draw a fence from left to right encompassing the blue hub, coral cap, and dark orchid bolts. Next, choose mirror select and snap to the center of extents of one of the treads to find the first point. Then holding the shift key to force the mirror line horizontal across the screen, click to complete this operation. Now thread the opposite side of the rods by subtracting the bolts while leaving them in place. Now select the cylinder at the center of the assembly. Then in the selection info palette, change its height to 10 inches. Now subtract the cylinder from the cap on the back side of the wheel. Next, create a half inch blend on the hole we just created using the fillet edges tool. Now switch to the cap work plane and choose the cylinder tool. Snapping to the center of the center hole, enter two inches in the radius field and negative 20 in the height. Select the cylinder, then use the place on work plane command in the modify menu to make sure it has been placed correctly. Now we are just about done with the wheel. Stay tuned for more great videos and be sure to subscribe to our channel.